What is up, Aqua Sports fans? Welcome to another episode of the English Channel. Uh, we are in January and it is very cold outside. Uh, it's a little bit windy today, but I've come down to the local waterfall or dam, whatever you want to call it, uh, and we're going to get the lines in, see if we can get some trout. i uh, got a little bit of power bait, do have a casting rod with me as well, uh, in case you get a little bit bored. Uh, I'm going to be joined by my good friend Eric today as well, uh, see if we get some good shots and maybe catch some trout as well, maybe a little bit of dinner. Fish on. Here he is, not knowing how to park. Now he's upset, I'm telling him where to park. Greetings! Oh, Calvary. Sandwich, that will soak up the hangover. Also, that wind, it's gonna give you a fing earache. Yeah. Oh, he is rowing, look. Oof. They're rowing with a. The, how are they gonna get that on that dock? Guaranteed, we'll end up helping them. They're rowing their motorboat over. That was well planned. Yeah. Hey, are you guys, you're the guy that has the, the English channel? Yeah. Yeah, hey, I'm Albert, how nice are you? Nice to meet you, Ross, right. how you doing? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I asked you the question about um, using the swivel on uh, oh, yeah. and everything, so. Yeah. Because I was watching your videos and saying like, oh man, he's, he's fishing right where my daughter goes swimming and everything. He's catching some big fish. That's yeah, oh yeah, I remember now, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah. You ever see me around, welcome to come join me. All right, no problem. All right. Yeah, so yeah thank you. Know. All right, have a good day. All right, I stick one right in here. It'll do. Water is super clear today. All right, they're both holding nicely. So, real simple rig. Is that a sinker? Yeah, so you've got a sinker, but basically it just works as, it's not like a, uh, a worm, hold that. That means your line can move, and then you've got mono, so it's like, so the fish don't see it, because you have to use real light tackle with trout. And then, all you do, let's put you on the pink. It's like a dough, all right? So you just take it like a little thing like this, and then you put it up. A little ball. It's a bit stinky, but it's not like it's not like nasty hot dogs and garlic <laughs> and Kool-Aid. And then Ugh, you get your hook. The right, and you just push it in like that. And then you just kind of mold it around. And there you go. And what happens is that floats. Right? So mm -hmm. you got your bait on the bottom. Or your, your weight, sorry. Uh -huh. And then that goes in the current like Floats this. Up. Yeah, okay. yeah. And you can hold your rod whilst you do it, but I just tend to leave them in because you get like, you know, like we were fishing for catfish that time off the uh, boat. Yeah, yeah. It's better. They are never getting that boat in. <laughs> They're going to, look, the wind's too strong. They're yeah, going to completely gone, overshoot them. And now you're fishing. Nice. All right, now you know how to do it. Very nice. These guys, I don't know if they're just drifting or if they got, oh boy, they've already overshot it. You can tell. Oh, I think they've got the engine a little bit. They just might not have any steering. They got the dog on there and everything. Do you want a hand? Okay. <laughs> Do you need a hand with anything? Coming in for a uh, head stick landing. Okay. Eric, you go the other side. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. That's all right. You got it, man. You look good so far. Oh, there you go. You're in the middle. You're in the middle. You've got Eric there if you need someone to hold on to. There you go, fellas. Good job. But they just put this to trout. Yesterday, I got down here, first cast. I was setting up the other rod, and I saw this rod go freaking nuts. So sprint over. I set the hook like a pussy. I just like kind of lifted it up, and I was like, nah, trout's going nuts. I saw it come to the surface. It was easily a three, three pounder, two or three pounds. Welcome back Aqua Sports fans, it is day two, it's Tuesday, our first day was on Sunday, didn't have too much luck uh, on Sunday, but out again today, it's not long till it gets dark, but I just want to get some lines in the water, get them in there for a couple of hours, and see if we can maybe pull out for some dinner tonight. Anyway, stay tuned, let's do it. Ooh, we are on. Yep. This one. Oh, it's big. It's big. Yes. We finally got one. Alright, buddy. Alright, calm down. Is this 
tiny one. Gets a bit of sun on him, look at that. There he goes. We did it. Did you bring liquid refreshment? Did you bring liquid refreshment? Back you go. Fetch my beers, peasant. He's a good lad. First fish 2019. Well done. Thanks, Dan. Cheers to you. I'll tell you what, if you uh, pull your rod in, I will show you how to trout fish. Oh, I'm on again. Here am I? Oh, I'm on. Yep, fish on, fish on. Oh, it's another good one. It's another good one. All right, calm down, calm down, mate. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. And that is two. Sports fans, mission accomplished. Hoorah! Uh, it was a bit of a grind, but over the two days, uh, all my hard work and freezing my tail off came through in the end, and I actually managed to get two very nice trout. Uh, you obviously saw that I did throw them back in the end, uh, and obviously earlier on in the vid, I did say that I was going to maybe keep them for dinner, uh, but I thought about it. I don't live in Alaska, the water is not that clean. I know they spray pesticides in it and stuff, so I was like, I'm not gonna take a fish's life if I don't have to, uh, and it might make me sick. Also, it's a very hot spot where I was fishing for little kids to go fishing there. Um, so, you know, by putting those fish back, uh, I wanted to maybe give uh, a little guy or girl uh, a chance to maybe reel one in as well. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, we're going to keep coming up uh, with videos as much as we can uh, during the months of January, February and March uh, until we hit that big mouth bass season again. Uh, but thanks for tuning in. Please do me a favour and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you want to see. And until next time, I'll see you then. Fish on.